Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Technomancer. So, I've got my controller working again for the moment. And we'll see how this goes. Oh, Droy, time to fight through more people. Hi, everyone. Oh, good, they've all got guns. Let's, uh, first off, turn this back on. Ow! the wrong fucking door. Oh, I need to be in the underworks. Oh, fantastic. Back we go. Great, now I think I'm using a keyboard. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. This game has some of the worst, like, world navigation that I've ever seen. The map is not very helpful. Um, the instructions telling you where to go are even less helpful. And you have to be constantly stopping to pick fights with people that you've already fought. Why? I just, I, I don't even, alright, so I need to go to the underworks. How do I get to the underworks? There we go. Underworks? Good, there's the underworks over there. I would like to close the map, please. Thank you. Still as I'm using a mouse now. So that's oh good. More more people. I would much rather have a I mean if they wanna if they really want to do this having fights every five feet thing, I would much rather have a linear world with scripted fights as opposed to just the same like three fights over and over again repeated just constantly in like every area you come to because you've already I've done these fights I've done these fights so much I've played this game for fucking like what am I on this is episode like 40 so at about 20 minutes a piece that's what 800 minutes yeah I've played this game a lot I've done these fights. I would really love at this point to have some way to skip them because they get repetitive. Alright, there's the asshole with the gun. And of course there's that, where you just kind of die. Oh, I would love, I would absolutely love the ability to just skip the fights to get where I'm going. I understand some of the fights. I understand, you know, maybe having to pick a fight to get in the city. I don't understand why there's guards all over the fucking city who will immediately jump on me the second I show up. But they, there never seems to be any alarm sounded or anything. They're just they're just like, oh, if you see him, just, you know, beat him up a bit. But don't actually, you know, call for backup or, you know, raise any alarm or anything. Oh, 
Also, the fact that they can just keep dodging when they're backed into a corner like that is kind of really stupid. Like, that's something that really, really... It makes, it makes the fights look dumb. It's clearly designed with a combat style that's supposed to make the, the fights look really cool, but when you've got someone backstepping in a corner and they're clearly not dodging anywhere, but they're still dodging, it makes it look a little bit silly. Also, when people fight just by repeatedly pulling out their pistols and shooting you, that's that's also that also looks a little bit silly. Like I have to ask, why would you ever put your pistol away? She could just keep shooting that thing at me and I would basically have no like counter to it. I would just basically have to keep dodging to avoid getting shot. This is the problem with adding guns into a scenario like this, is that you then have to come up with a reason why they're not just using guns in every situation, because that would be, you know, the simplest and- oh my fucking god. The simplest and best solution. Look at how many guards there are around this place. This raises some serious questions about how I'm able to just walk around town without getting- without, you know, having alarms raised, but I'm also picking fights with, like, like, a half dozen people every ten steps. Where did our friend shield go? That dude clearly didn't dodge. He just took my staff to the face, but he still got the dodge bonus because he was attacking. What? No, that's not what I wanted to do. No, I didn't want to use one of my fucking health things on that. Why would you make the use health item button one that you're gonna use in combat anyways? Where am I fucking going? Oh, I was trying to get to the underworks. That's right. Can I can I jump down? Okay, good. Oh boy, we're back in the underworks. I wonder if all of the little critters have respawned yet. I can't wait to fight them all for the three hundredth time. Because I was just thinking, hey, maybe I could travel somewhere in this game without being it, without it being a massive pain. But no, that would be that would be dumb. Okay, so that's the slums. Which one of these doors do I need to go? To? One of these goes upstairs. That one. How do I get there? How do I get there with the least amount of being, you know, fighting random monsters? Does that path go anywhere? Maybe. Oh, hey, little critters. Oh, that's fucking amazing. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, I can't. Because I can't put my weapon away while I'm in combat, and it's gated off. Great. Just let me fight these assholes again. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Just keep hitting X. I'll just take down my X button. Okay, we good? We good? We're fine? Great, let's go fight the next batch of random creatures. We're going the wrong way. Let's go not fight the next random batch of creatures. Let's go fight some random guards instead. God. See, look at look at how easy it is for the, the lady with the rifle at the back there. She can literally just stand there and just keep shooting me over and over again. And somehow every single soldier in the ASC is not equipped with rifles. And there doesn't even be an explanation for it. 
I mean, there's clearly no taboo against using rifles, or they wouldn't use them at all, but... Like... There doesn't seem to be any explanation why they wouldn't use rifles. Because, I mean, they're so fucking useful. I mean, they went out of their way to get the, like, lightning-proof armor to fight Technomancers, and then... They're still using, like, maces, and... No! Fuck! Why? Why is the button to use a health thingy on one of my allies, which is completely pointless, because my allies are 100% useless, a button that I routinely use for other things in fights? Why would they do that? I'm just wasting health things. Oh boy, there's another fight. We gotta hold 20 feet before we found another one. Fuck! Uh, hi, where did all of you come from? reaction to getting hit with a quarter staff is to like move his head slightly and then start pulling out a handgun which I think is a reasonable reaction I'm not sure why they aren't all doing it turn on my dark armor so I can stop you know dying the handgun again. I'm not, I'm dead now. Oh my god, I just want this game to be over, but the story just keeps going, and they keep just putting more and more side quests between me and what is clearly going to be an ending boss fight between me and Victor. And for some reason, they can't just let it happen. They just have to keep saying, oh, we need to, we need to put more and more and more and more side quests in between you and this fight that you all know is coming that you spent basically the entire game preparing for already. And I haven't exactly been going out of my way to do a lot of side quests. And we're still fucking... 40 episodes in. And still doing these same fights. Over and over and over. And the bad guys can just make themselves immune to damage temporarily, which is also nice. I don't even, I don't even, I have, like, I have nothing else to say about this. There's just, there's just so many, like, bafflingly obnoxious design choices involved in this. Like, they, they tried to do this, like, Witcher-style, you know, flippy combat system, but they didn't really set it up to be able to do that. You know, it works in The Witcher because the enemies in The Witcher can't just pull out fucking handguns and shoot you. 
Like that. Look at how much damage that does. That is a good, like, quarter of my health in one go at range. While I'm busy fighting someone else. And she's at no risk of, like, hitting her teammate or anything, so I can't, like... I can't let them shoot each other. Which means they can just kind of fire into melee as much as they want. I don't... I, don't, I want to finish this game. I want to finish it, but oh my god, it's so frustrating. This game... Fuck. Please don't. Please. Please. Please don't do this. Okay, I guess we're using the keyboard again. Fantastic. Like... I can't... I can't help but feel that this game would have worked way better as just a linear story, because they... They made it open world, but the world is not, like... Like, I can't really see why. They didn't gain anything from having the open world. There's not just... There's just not a lot to explore. And what they get from the open world is that you just have to keep fighting through mobs of enemies to get where you're going. Which just leads to situations like this, where you're fighting, like, two mobs of enemies, because, of course, they're clustered up like that. I'm running out of health thingies. This is fantastic. grenade each other, though, which is kind of weird when you think about it. Like, their grenades damage their friendlies, but the bullets don't. Mother... I don't even know if I'm near the fucking place that I'm trying to reach, because... Why am I doing this? What have I done to deserve this... thisness? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The best part about it is... If I wanted to go somewhere else to, like, re-equip myself, because I thought my equipment wasn't that good, I would still have to fight through, like, half a dozen mobs of enemies to get there. If you're going to make an open world, make it easy to traverse. That should be, like, rule one. An open world should not be a chore to travel around. Great, I'm just stunlocked now, so that's fantastic, because there's just a fucking person with a rifle there. Oh. No. I'm done. I'm not... I'm... I'm not playing any more of this. This is so... It was okay early on. It wasn't great. I wouldn't call it fantastic. It seemed like it was trying to be The Witcher and doing a not-so-great job of that. Or maybe Dragon Age. I haven't played Dragon Age, but The Witcher comparison jumps to mind. Um, but there's just... There's so many inconsistencies. The world is tiny, and... It's interesting. I'm interested in finding out about the world, but there's nowhere to do that. There's nothing to explore. There's... You know, the the actual areas of the world you're allowed to explore are tiny and full of enemies that respawn constantly. 
The combat is pretty well designed, except for the inclusion of firearms, which is baffling in a game that is kind of doing the sword and board style fantasy fighter with mage involved. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It just... I want, I want, I want to beat this game, but I don't want to play this game. I want to kind of, I want to see where the story goes, I guess. But the gameplay is preventing me from doing that. I just, I'm singularly uninterested in continuing the game as it is. But I do want to see where the story goes, and so I'm kind of torn. Anyways, um, we're going to end this episode here for now anyways, um, because we're just about out of time. And I guess I'll think about whether I want to actually keep playing this. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.